Alrighty, I'm here again with another update for Mysterious Space post seven day roguelike uh, work. <laughs> um, so, like I mentioned before, I was going to work on you know actually beating the level once you collect the fuel, which I have done. But I think more than that, uh, a friend, professional game developer of mine, uh, referred me to uh, this video on Gama Sutra or Gama Sutra. I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, from it was a presentation by this guy who works for Vlambeer. I haven't heard of them. They apparently make fantastic action shooty games. And Steven was like, oh my god, this guy talks about 30 amazing tricks for how to make shooty games better. Uh, and at least three of the tricks are add more enemies. So that's kind of cheating. But it was actually a really cool presentation. The guy's really funny. And uh, I, I built up a list. And I'm not going to necessarily do everything. I don't think that everything in there is going to be appropriate for the, for the game, but I think a lot of the things are. So I will show off a few of those things which I've implemented. Let's start a new game. Shift name. Uh, so first of all, you, you may notice the hull and shield bars are much larger. So one of the things, and actually an early playtester suggested this to me, uh, my boss at work actually, and I, I dismissed his idea, but, but now I feel bad about having done that. Um, because he said, I want to be able to, you should be able to shoot faster. Um, you, you know, the bullets, you're shooting one every, I don't know, half a second or something. It's kind of lame. Uh, and, and this guy uh, who, who presented Jan, I guess, and the rest of his name is a little too Norwegian for me to pronounce. Uh, but, but he also suggested faster bullets, more bullets. And, you know, just counteract for that by making the enemies take more hits or, or have more enemies or whatever. So numerically it's equal, but from the player's perspective, it feels awesome because you're shooting lots of bullets. So we can see that I have much more health, and uh, we can also see that I shoot twice as fast. Um, and I'm going to have to retest all the balancing again, but I did, you know, I just doubled fire rate and halved weapon power, so hopefully that's the same. Enemies are still spawning in stupid ways. Uh, but let's check out some other some other little things. So when you shoot guys, they do that blink that you see in so many video games, and I knew I was going to have to do that anyway. Uh, he mentioned it again in, in that video, and I was like, all right, let's just do it immediately. And when you kill them, they now do, I don't know if that went too fast, but these little explosion uh, particle effects, or like if you can call it a particle effect. Um, so it doesn't look that great right now, but I've got the system, and it should be easy to tweak. You know, I'll work on making that look just right later, but the system is in place. We can also see that the game spawns way too many enemies still. Oh my god, it's going to be like impossible to find the fuel source for you guys. Oh, I'm going to game over. Okay, it's cool. Um, it's not cool. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to start the game over. That's fine. Let's start a new game. Ship name. And maybe we will uh, find the fuel source and I'll show leaving the levels. So, do 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 do. I mean, I don't know how exciting that really is going, going to show. I'm actually a little sad I... Uh, you know, when I changed the whole system from doing this left to right, you know, fixed progression that it used to be before, I got rid of the animation sequence for the um, sector complete where the, the words would come in from the sides. I tried to wave my hands in front of the monitor, you can't see that. Uh, but, you know, the words would come in from the side, sector complete, and then whoosh, dash off in the opposite direction. Uh, I deleted that animation, and now I feel really stupid. I, I'm not using version control for this. Maybe I should start doing that. Uh, so I just, I've lost that code. Um, it wasn't super hard to make, but, y you know, realizing the lost process, then I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it again. So I didn't do it yet. Uh, I just have a little fade in, but I'm definitely going to bring that back because it looked, it looked super sweet uh, when you beat the level. So it is less good, but the point is that now you can technically play through the game and beat it. Uh, if only I could find this stupid fuel source and take off with it and not get killed again. Do 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 do. Another thing, so he talked about a lot of things. So the guy, the company, Vlambeer, I guess they're, they're well known for their action games for a lot of screen shake effects, which, which isn't something I think I'm going to put in the game nearly as much as they do. Um, he wants the screen shake every time you shoot a bullet, every time the bullet hits something, every time you get hit, every, every time anything happens, <laughs> screen shake is, is some, uh, some visual feedback. Um, and also I experimented with another thing he thought, so... He was saying, you know, the, the point of what you're seeing isn't really your player, it's the bullets you're shooting. So you should have the camera maybe centered slightly in front of your ship, and when you turn around, the, the camera would zip over to their side. I found that to be really distracting, uh, moving around, just to have the camera, like, flipping out every time I decide to face another direction. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Uh, the, but the shaky screen stuff, I could 
I could definitely see myself doing in, in some circumstances. Like like when you get hit and you take damage, I think that would be a, a good time to, oh, you're taking damage. Uh, and, and if the shaking is just a little bit distracting, then that, that's just a bonus. It's a penalty for getting hit, uh, but an exciting penalty. Uh, and every, you know, if there's like big explosions, definitely a screen shake would be cool. I don't know about every little guy, but you know, it might be fun to set up some things where uh, chain reactions go off or something, and then you just pull, 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 and the screen goes crazy. Uh, another thing that he mentioned was uh, permanence. So in his example, you know, you're shooting little dudes. You're, you're a guy shooting dudes. So a lot of the things made a little more sense when you're just a person, like having, I mean, I could put a muzzle flash on your ship, I guess, but having your player get knocked back a little bit by the shots seems kind of weird to me for a spaceship. Like, maybe I'll try it out anyway and see how it feels. Uh, but it, it seemed a little, a little weird to me. Um, but anyway, so he essentially had little dudes. When when the dudes died, their corpses would litter the ground, which did, which did look really fun. I'm not quite sure how I would do that with these enemies, uh, but I could do something like, you know, there could, there could be some debris maybe that falls to the ground or something like that, or, or maybe cracks that appear behind where they exploded or something like that. So I'll think about doing something like that because I think it would be neat to have some sort of record of your past battles. And those could even potentially remain the next time you come... I have to think about that. It, it's not it, technically every time you visit the level, it regenerates the level from nothing, using a you know through, through some random seeds. It does it produces the same random result every time. Uh, so I don't actually have to store any level data. So if I want any permanent effects after you leave, and then when you come back, coming back to the planets in the reverse direction, I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to store that data somehow. Uh, or maybe we could throw it away. You know, you've been gone long enough or something. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, th what I've got in now is these little explosion animations and uh, the, the you know the flashes and some other fun stuff like that. And I'll I'll definitely be looking into to doing some more of the effects that the guy mentioned in this talk. And I will link the uh, video in the description or the comments or whatever for, for this video. It, it is pretty fun. I think it's a little slow getting started and. He uh he like he discounts his own knowledge too much. He's like you know I I, I think you know I I don't really know a lot of stuff. But here's what. But no, he does. It's really good. So so get past that and 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 when you get to the his thing where he starts with this really simple game and just adds one at a time these thirty different tricks. It's it's really a cool improvement. And it's it's neat to see that happen. Uh, so anyway, I will hopefully have a uh, you know a, an update with some more exciting gameplay in a few days. And thank you for watching.